Okay. Wiring the player buttons. One of the sets of 12 wires and separate the strands a little with six pairs at the ends with the spades. These little silvery connectors here, they're your spade connectors. They are what's going to go on the buttons. Again, you're going to need to take note of the markings on the wires. Pass that up underneath. That will help working from one side. Connect each pair of spades from buttons one to six. Your buttons are numbered now. I'm going to start at this side. So just peel them off a bit. You can't see this very well. That is button one. And the spades just slip over the connectors on the buttons. Hold it from underneath because otherwise you will pop the buttons out. You might need a fairly firm push to get these on, but it's worth getting them on properly. He says failing to get them on properly. There we go. So that's button one. Button two is going to be the next pair. Make sure you get the pairs of wires next to each other. Peel it down a bit. Two, next pair, button three, if you really want you can make sure all the contacts on the buttons are facing the same way, whichever really doesn't matter which way around these wires go or which way around your button is facing, it's a contact switch, it's completing a circuit, it'll work. Button four, which might need to be slightly longer. Ooh. Button five. Pop. Pop. And button six. There is actually a noticeable click for want of a better word, when you push these on all the way. So make sure you feel that and make sure the bottoms of the spades are almost touching the, uh, the switch on the bottom of the button. And there we go, that's the button wires in. So, we're looking for the buttons on here now. These are the console buttons. Right, there's the utility buttons on the side furthest away from the USB ports. So these are the console buttons. Now I started button one with these two wires here with the long lines on so I just start plugging them in from that side. So we've got button one, two, three, four, five, six, six buttons at ah, ah. That couldn't have sounded less like the count. I'm sorry about that one. Anyway, buttons connected. Slight embarrassment. It'll fade. You can laugh at me. I don't mind. Okay. The other set of 12 wires. This is the fun bit. Ah, such satisfaction. Okay. Separate into five spares at the ends with the spades, silver ones are the spades. Honestly, it's, it's better than when Kit Kats had foil wrappers and you could run your thumb down. Taking each pair in turn, connect them to the ENT esque. Right, so ENTER is on the side with the power button. So we will start with that. Let's start with the uh, Morse code looking wires there. So we've got dots and dashes which doesn't in any way match up with the other side, so that works, different contrast. So, ENT. This is kind of fiddly. Let's see if we can get it that way. Ah. Here we go. First one now, the second strip is gonna have to be 
peel them off a fair way. I can just dig them out. It's these two, isn't it? And these go over onto the second button just down here. I have no idea what you can see on this camera. Oh, very little from the front. Okay. Hmm. Maybe you can see it there like that. It's easy to put them in from the screen side though. And uh, there we go. Let's enter and escape. They, those do actually map to the enter and escape keys. So when you push those two buttons, that keyboard signal is sent to the Pi. It's useful. Where are we at now? Uh, one up and coin, which would be these two on the front. One up is the one on the right when you're facing the console, so this side. And it will be the next set of spades, which is this one. Ooh. button what up next set there we go oh, what am I missing 